the Soviet Union, once a superpower that rivaled the United States, began to crumble in the late 1980s. The reasons for its downfall were many, but some of the most significant factors were economic stagnation, political corruption, and the inability to keep up with the technological advancement of the West. One of the key events that led to the fall of the Soviet Union was the election of Mikhail Gorbachev as General Secretary of the Communist Party in 1985. Gorbachev was a reformer who recognized the need for change in the Soviet Union. He introduced policies such as glasnost, openness, and perestroika, restructuring, that aimed to modernize the Soviet economy and political system. However, these reforms also had unintended consequences. The loosening of censorship laws led to a flood of information that exposed the corruption and inefficiencies of the Soviet system. The Soviet people, who had long been kept in the dark about the true state of their country, were shocked by what they learned. At the same time, the Soviet economy was in shambles. Decades of centralized planning had left the country with a bloated bureaucracy, inefficient industries, and a lack of innovation. The Soviet Union was unable to keep up with the technological advancements of the West, and its economy was stagnating. The combination of economic stagnation and political corruption led to widespread dissatisfaction among the Soviet people. In 1989, protests erupted across the Soviet Union, calling for greater political freedom and economic reform. The Soviet government responded with force, but the protests continued. The fall of the Berlin Wall in November 1989 was a turning point in the collapse of the Soviet Union. The wall had been a symbol of the Cold War and the division between East and West. Its fall signaled the end of the Soviet Union's dominance in Eastern Europe and the beginning of the end for the Soviet Union itself. In the years that followed, the Soviet Union continued to unravel. The Baltic states declared their independence and other republics followed suit. In August 1991, a group of hardline Communist Party members attempted a coup against Gorbachev, but it failed. The coup only served to weaken the Soviet government further. Finally, on December 26, 1991, the Soviet Union officially dissolved. The collapse of the Soviet Union was a seismic event that changed the course of world history. It marked the end of the Cold War and the beginning of a new era of global politics. The fall of the Soviet Union had far-reaching consequences that continue to shape the world today. In the immediate aftermath, the newly independent states faced numerous challenges as they transitioned from a communist system to a market economy and democratic governance. One of the most significant challenges was the economic transition. The Soviet Union had relied heavily on state-owned industries and centralized planning, which proved to be unsustainable in a globalized world. The newly independent states had to undertake painful economic reforms including privatization and liberalization to attract foreign investment and stimulate economic growth. These reforms, however, came at a high cost. Many people lost their jobs as inefficient state-owned enterprises were closed down or sold off. Inflation soared and living standards plummeted for a significant portion of the population. The transition to a market economy was a difficult and turbulent process that left deep scars on the societies of the former Soviet republics. Politically, the fall of the Soviet Union led to the emergence of new nation-states. Fifteen independent countries emerged from the ashes of the Soviet Union, each with its own unique challenges and aspirations. Some countries, like Russia, managed to maintain a strong central government, while others struggled with ethnic tensions and separatist movements. The collapse of the Soviet Union also had a profound impact on the global balance of power. With the end of the Cold War, the United States emerged as the sole superpower leading to a unipolar world order. This shift in power dynamics had implications for international relations as new alliances and conflicts emerged in the post-Soviet era. Furthermore, the fall of the Soviet Union opened up new opportunities for Western countries to expand their influence in Eastern Europe and Central Asia. NATO expanded its membership to include former Soviet bloc countries, 
while the European Union sought to integrate the newly independent states into its economic and political structures. However, the legacy of the Soviet Union still lingers in many ways. The economic disparities between different regions within the former Soviet republics persist, with some areas experiencing rapid development while others remain impoverished. The scars of the Soviet era, including environmental degradation and social inequality, continue to be felt. Moreover, the collapse of the Soviet Union also left a void in terms of geopolitical stability. Conflicts and tensions have arisen in various regions, such as the ongoing conflict in Ukraine and the protracted conflicts in the Caucasus. The influence of Russia, the successor state to the Soviet Union, remains a significant factor in the region's politics. In conclusion, the fall of the Soviet Union was a complex and transformative event that reshaped the world order. It marked the end of an era and the beginning of new challenges and opportunities for the newly independent states. The legacy of the Soviet Union continues to shape the political, economic and social landscapes of the post-Soviet countries, leaving a lasting impact on the global stage.